Let's see how to fix black screen error on Windows 10. So press Ctrl Alt or Delete at once. So in the list, uh, we need to choose Task Manager. So Task Managers uh, could open in the small mode. So just quick, click on Quick Details. So now click on File and run New Task. Now follow my screen. Click on Browse button and in the C drive, choose this file. System32 and CMD. Okay, so choose this file. Click on OK. So it will open command prompt window. Now type this command or reg edit. So click yes when prompted. Now again this registry editor will open up. Now follow my screen. We need to find um, win logon shell. So in Windows NT current version then press W maybe oh yes we will log on so expand it okay in the right side there is a uh, there's there's an entry for shell so double click on it or maybe right click on it and click modify so now we have to restore the value just type hyphen and OK and again click on modify and type explorer dot exe okay so it, this will just refresh the key this is really important okay now close uh now do we have to do anything here i think we're good okay now uh, on the command prompt window type this command okay sfc scan now oh, we need to run as an administrator okay let's close this okay Again, click on File, Run New Task. Just uh, the the command is already there. Just click on Administrator Privileges. Okay, so retype the command. SFC scan now. Now this will start executing. So this will take a while. So so meanwhile, so meanwhile we uh, will execute one more command in parallel. So. Mm -hmm. We just let this run on this uh, window. Um, let's go to task manager again. Click on file, run new task, oh, oh, check administrative privileges, click on OK. Now on this window type this command chkdsk. Okay. Now you can pause this uh, video here still this completes because the next steps are re really important okay now chkdsk is done so let's see what's the status okay you can pause the video here so now it, uh, the command is completed uh, successfully now go back to task manager click on new task mm. now type this command click on ok so it will open MS config now open boot tab now you should see an option to uh, for safe mode let's check on it I mean enable it and click on OK now click on restart button uh, dialog here you can pause this window till you uh, get into safe mode so now I am into safe mode now okay now what we have to do is um, we have to uh, eliminate all the programs uh, which are not necessary, uh, we, which we don't really use. So, in the search menu, in the start button, uh, type control panel, so open control panel. So, make it as uh, you know, category view, click on uninstall programs and just uninstall all the programs which are not necessary. You know, like for OneDrive, I don't use it, so I'm going to in uninstall it. So so this will actually you know remove all the traces of programs which we don't really use but it you know results uh, you know it, it interferes it interferes with you know and uh, booting of the computer so it's good to you know uh, get rid of them okay now let's just restart the machine oh b before restarting the machine let's uh, open ms config again just press windows key and r key together and type ms config window there now go to boot tab again and disable safe mode now apply it and click on ok now click on restart and it will restart into normal 
uh, uh, mode. Okay, now we can see that the error is gone.